To graph an absolute value function of the form y equals a times the absolute value of x, first plot the vertex, then plot a point on either side of the vertex, and finally draw lines connecting the vertex to each of those points. Let's break it down. First let's remember what the absolute value means. Any term within absolute value bars that look like this always equals the positive of that number. So for example, the absolute value of 2 equals positive 2, or the absolute value of negative 3 equals the positive of that which is positive 3. But what happens when we have an absolute value function of the form y equals a times the absolute value of x, and we want to graph it? Consider the example y equals 2 times the absolute value of x. This is of the form y equals a times the absolute value of x, where a equals 2. Let's make a table and plot some points to see what this looks like. If x equals 0, then 2 times the absolute value of 0 equals 2 times 0, which is 0. If x equals 1, then 2 times the absolute value of 1 equals 2. And if x equals 2, then 2 times the absolute value of 2 is 4. Let's graph what we have so far. Our first point is 0, comma 0, right here, where x is 0 and y is 0. Next we have where x is 1 and y is 2, right here. And we have where x is 2, y is 4. So far what this looks like is a regular linear equation with slope 2. Let's see what happens if we try plugging in some negative values for x. If we plug in negative 1 for x, then 2 times the absolute value of negative 1 is equal to 2, because the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. If we also try negative 2, then we have 2 times the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2 times 2, and that gives us 4. Let's plot those points and see what we have now. When x is negative 1, y is 2. And when x is negative 2, y is 4. These points seem to form a different linear equation with a slope of negative 2. So what we found is that this function looks like two regular linear functions that meet up at a vertex, which in this case is at 0, 0. If we know what the vertex of an absolute value function is, then we can plot the function by first plotting that vertex where the two lines will meet and then plotting a few points on either side. How do I know where the vertex is? In general, whenever we have an absolute value function of the form y equals a times the absolute value of x, the vertex is always 0, 0. In more advanced functions, this is different, but whenever it's just a times the absolute value of x, like for example, 2 times the absolute value of x, the vertex is always 0, 0. What if a is negative? Great question. Let's do one more example. Consider the function y equals negative absolute value of x. This is the form y equals a times absolute value of x, where a equals negative 1. So, since it's in this form, we know that the vertex is at 0, 0. Let's plot that. Now let's plot at least one point on either side of our vertex. We can create a table to help us find these points. One point to the right of our vertex is when x equals 1. In this case, we'll have negative absolute value of 1. So that's going to be negative times, this will just become 1, so it's negative 1. Let's also plot a point to the left of our vertex. For example, if x equals negative 1 over here. In this case, we'll have negative absolute value of negative 1. So the absolute value of negative 1 equals 1. So what we really have here is negative 1. Let's plot both of these points and then draw lines from the vertex to each of those points to create our graph. When x equals 1, y equals negative 1. And when x equals negative 1, y equals negative 1. From our vertex, we can draw a line 
through each of these points to see what our final graph is going to look like. And now we're done. So, to graph an absolute value function, first we plot the vertex, then we plot a point on either side of the vertex, and then we draw lines connecting the vertex to both of those points. Right.